guys. So today I am going to do something crazy. I am going to do an 18650 cell harvest with all of these battery packs. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna open, it's like 200 packs of uh, old laptop batteries. I'm gonna disassemble each pack and I'll probably just do that through a time lapse. So, you know, <laughs> how many packs do you wanna see me open? Okay, so I've uh, grabbed some gloves just so I don't uh, cut myself. It's uh, really easy to cut yourself on these nickel tabs. And a piece of pair of gloves gonna keep your hands from getting cut up. All right, I spent a little bit more time doing a few more packs. We got a big stack right there, right here, right there, and then all of those. I'm just gonna quickly check to see if there's any voltage on these. 3.6, 3.7, and zero. So the faulty the faulty cells in this pack are this one, this one, or both of them. Uh, these four look like they're probably okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and snip these apart. There is power on these batteries. So I need to be careful when I'm clipping these off that I don't short out while I'm, while I'm doing this. So anyways, normally I just start by clipping the um, balancing board and stuff off of here. You can use bigger side cutters. I've got I've got bigger ones here, but I'll just stick with the little ones for right now. Change my mind, go into the big ones. These ones are a little old, so they don't uh, necessarily work very well. Okay, so then what I do is um, I go in here. Let's see if I can get this in focus here. And I, I basically just grab with my side cutters and grab close to the base, and then I just kind of roll it off. just try and get those um, spot welds off there so then I'm kind of left with that and then I get these little knobs sometimes you can grab them pull them off most of the time I don't worry about them uh, if you're super worried about them you can hit them with a Dremel with a little uh, little coarse sandpaper and just kind of buff them off there but I've never really had a problem with just leaving them same thing on this side try and grab it the most you can I'm not really I'm not really squeezing because I don't want to cut through it. I just want to pull it and use it as leverage. Pull it 
pull that off if you want. You don't have to, it doesn't really affect anything. There are some of these that have um, like a silicone or some sort of adhesive on it that uh, helps seed it in the, in the battery pack when they do it. Those ones are kind of a pain in the ass. These ones had some glue on there, made it a little bit tough to pull out of the pack, but just work at it, get it done. Here, that uh, that first pack I did was actually a fairly clean, fairly clean cells. This one's got that silicone on that I was talking about, so I'll show you how I remove that. So you see this part here. Usually, what I do is grab uh, a little exacto knife, and I don't pull hard, but if you put it on here and you're not pushing down at all, I'm just literally dragging it through the material. It doesn't even cut through the the plastic that's uh, around the cell so that doesn't need to be perfect just uh, so it's not so bumpy this is actually pretty dull like I said I'm not really pushing down at all I'm just dragging it through the stuff that's there once again just grab it kind of just pull through it They kind of put this stuff in the battery packs to keep them from moving around. This is, really doesn't take any effort at all. Like I said, just pull straight through the material, don't push down. And then And that's that. It does whatever. You're better off to just rub it with your finger and get it off. There's another one too that's really hard to get off. I think if this stuff is too thick, it doesn't come off too well. Anyways, enough of that. So I'm going to leave it at that and I will get all of these cells cleaned up and then I will come back and show you how I'm going to charge them. Okay, so I got all those batteries charged up. Um, I think I posted a, a photo on Instagram on like April 24th. It is now June 2nd, and I'm finally done charging all these batteries and getting the capacity. It took a long time. I'm just gonna show you what I used to do that. So I originally had this uh, MI Boxer 18650 charger. Um, and it was fine. It's a great it's a great charger nothing wrong with it But it only does like one slot for actual capacity checking where it can discharge the battery give your capacity So that wasn't gonna work. I mean you're talking so many batteries um, So I did use this for charging uh, and then discharged on the other chargers, but this was just to Help along in the whole process so the ones that work the best were these um, Opus BT C3100s. This just allows you, you know, um, you can control each one of these slots independently. Um, 
basically changing the mode to charge test, which means that um, when you put all of your batteries in the slot, it's going to basically charge them all up and once it reaches full charge then it'll discharge it give your give you your capacity and then it'll charge them back up again and then it'll be full and all done you write down your capacities and write down your capacities and you're all finished this still took a long time because a lot of the batteries were low on low voltage so it took a long time to charge them up and then discharge them and then recharge them again so so I knew that um, I knew that it was going to take a really long time. So I had already I had two from something I had done before with 18650s, um, and I only had 60 of them, so it didn't really matter how long it took. But I knew that in this case it was going to take longer, and I was going to need more. So I actually bought five more of these Opus 3100. So I had seven of these going, so that's uh, 28 cells at a time. So I was kind of calculating, well, maybe I can do two sets a day. It's 50 batteries. That's 20 days. Well, it literally, you know, took a month and a half, day in, day out, change them, put them back in. Um, I went away on a, uh, on a weekend. So obviously nothing got done during that weekend, but it takes a long time. If I do it again, I'm going to come up with something different and use these only for the discharge cycle. Um, I'm thinking of a big board with a whole bunch of chargers on it. Uh, that will just charge them up and then I'll just use these these for the discharge cycle and then once they're discharged and I've got the capacity I'll write the capacity pop them out of here put them back in the charge board and go from there and that way I think it'll speed the process up but I gotta make that charge board and when I do I will do a video on it because I've got some ideas for it so yeah that's kind of how that went and then these are all the batteries I got. I've kind of separated them out into lots of differences of uh, 100 milliamp hours. Um, so I've got all these ones. This range is basically from 17, 18, 19. Um, I had all the way down to 13. And then these are all the, basically the bad cells. Um, either they didn't hold a charge at all or they're under one amp hour um, or a thousand milliamp hours. and. I don't think I'll use them for anything, but I might do some experimenting on dissecting some of those. And then under in this uh, ammo crate here, I've got all a whole bunch more cells. I think there's about almost 700 in here. That anywhere ranges from 2000, 2100, 22, 23, 24 and above. So I got a good, uh, good lot of cells there that I think I'm going to use for something interesting and when I get to it once again I think I'll make a video on that stuff I, I do have an electric car I haven't really shown anybody yet but um, I've had it for a really long time and it has never had a battery so um, I might make one we'll see okay that's all I got for you today I hope you found that kind of interesting if you did don't forget to like and subscribe comment if you want to uh, ask me any questions about it and I'll see if I can answer them the best I can I don't do this very often but uh, I am kind of handy so I'm figuring it out as I go and yeah looking forward to making a cool battery anyways thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time